I'd now like uh, uh, Conor Quinn, the captain of St. Cairns, to come and receive the trophy from our uh, sponsors, Danske Bank, Mrs. Dana and me. Conor Quinn, what did it mean to you to lift that cup there for St. Cairns and Ballygully? It's brilliant, so it is uh, just to do it, be captain of the team as well, but I can't take credit for everyone, like, everyone in the team put it, we've got leaders all over the team, so we do, like Cahar Quinn, da- Daniel Miller and all, so it's brilliant, so it is. Kick out, game won by St Cairns, uh, coming forward with his Cairn trainer, trainer gives it there to McManaman, McManaman, can he register his first point of the game? The answer is yes, Kyle McManaman shows poise, he shows courage, he shows strength, and more importantly, he shows accuracy as he puts his side... And what do you think was the difference in the end? Um, I think it was our hard work, so it was. We wanted it most, so it is. Everyone put in the hard work today, so it is, and we want it more at the end of the day. And was it sweet to win the Tyrone Derby? Was that important? Uh, it was. It. Everyone says that Holy Trinity are our biggest rival, so it is, and so we knew that at the end of the day. They beat us earlier on in the season, and we just wanted to get a re- the revenge back, so it is. And talking about being sweet, must be nice for you playing on your home pitch here, you're from Galbally. Ah, it's brilliant, so it is. Uh, it's just, I can't, can't describe it in words, we can. it's just something to remember so for a while. Bloomer looks up, has Murphy if need be. Oh, brilliant block there by uh, Daniel Miller, super block by Miller, but Bloomer... Recovered. Martin, as a coach, I imagine that you're delighted that your team didn't concede a score from play in the whole game, and what does that say about your team and the effort? Look, these boys have been together since September and I suppose before that they've been together for five years and I suppose, look, today everything went right for us and look, we did hold the opposition uh, scoreless from play. Look, everything went right. The lads, brilliant all year. The amount of effort they put in, they've been out, what, about maybe four times a week from September and look, we've had a tough run to, to get this far. We beat uh, St Paul's Best Book, a very fancy team, St uh, Malachy's Castle Well, a, a great team as well. And today, look, another uh, brilliant team, Holy Trinity Cookstown. So, look, brilliant. We're delighted for the lads, delighted, delighted for the school. What does it do for your school to win something like this, you know? Well, look, we've been in college football now three years. We've always, you know, debated the, the approach of going to college football. Uh, we went a few years ago. This has now been our second Ulster title in three years. And, uh, you know, we've played McCrory Cup football. Cup football in that time as well. So look at you can see what it means to the school, the amount of crowd that was here today, you know, and, and the size of the crowd and the amount of support and all. And it's brilliant for the school and it'll be brilliant for the area and all the surrounding clubs. Fendon Devlin, great day for the school. It was, yeah, it's been a great day for the school. Uh, I suppose since we've moved to uh, the colleges in the last uh, three, four years, uh, it's our second Ulster title now, and a great, a great uh, for the school. Again, uh, there's a lot of support that comes from. Uh, the principal and all the staff and all the, uh, the, the surrounding areas and clubs. So it's, it's a great day all round for the clubs and for the whole community uh, relating into St Cairns. What has been the big difference in moving to Ulster Colleges the last three years for, from your point of view as a coach? Uh, well I suppose again you come up against schools with uh, uh, larger numbers and bigger schools and again with that I suppose comes with more competition, uh, again more games, again more commitment from uh, both the players uh, and from the coaching staff uh, right throughout the school uh, and obviously there's a lot more uh, expected resources uh, and support right through the school and without that support uh, it would be very difficult to, to make today's happen. Foraging forward and working hard and Daniel Miller he's been excellent throughout feeds it forward looking for Derek Canavan out in front again Canavan trying to hold up possession Canavan has support if need be, still Canavan going with it, going through, Canavan, this is brilliant from Derek Canavan, in it goes, that is just superb by Derek Canavan, come at the hour, come at the man. Derek you had a number of star performers today, I'm thinking of Young Hoy and Miller in the middle and uh, the captain at full back, but when you needed it in the last 10 minutes, young Derek Canavan stepped up. He did, look, he, he had a superb game, he's had a brilliant year. Um, and Dar would be the first to turn around and say that, hey, you know, that the ball that he got in, that sort of ball into space, you know, give him an opportunity that he was able to exploit. We've had so many all year. It's it's really hard to pinpoint a player because so many of them has really stood up. If you saw them again, St Paul's best book, you know, a team that had beaten us two years ago in our first year in college football by a point. And uh, if you saw them again, Castle Well, these guys have been absolutely brilliant uh, in every game this year. And they've had a hard road and a tough road to get that far. And, you know, early on in the year, Cookstown had beaten us in the group stage. So look, today, when it really mattered, you know, we stepped up and we had, you know, 15 players plus the, 
the 12 lads that were involved in the panel that has put a massive amount of work in and I'm just delighted for them and uh, delighted for the school and you know the work that you know myself and, and, and especially there uh, Fintan Devlin has put in all year you know it's, in the end we, it came over the line for us. You mentioned the clubs, what clubs were involved? I know the captain was from this club, from Galbally, but there was a good spread? There was, there was a good spread. Uh, you have Galbally, you would have Ericle Kieran, uh, you would have Ahar, you would have Kilishal, uh, you have Ochna Cloy, uh, which is Ahaloo, uh, you have Burra, uh, I'm sure I've probably left some of them out. I'm nearly sure uh, a lot of the local clubs are all represented by some player uh, on the panel. And it must do them an awful lot of good to become Ulster champions at this age and at this stage and in this grade. Uh, it does. Again, I suppose it's, it's a credit to the players that we have. You know, they hold themselves in a, in a good manner. Uh, they're very humble about success. And again, it's great for them to have a winning mentality to bring back to their clubs and certainly to the, to the college going forward.